Hello and welcome to the Women Creating Wealth 10K in 10 Days Challenge. We hope you will enjoy this exclusive content that we've created with you in mind. And we hope that it might help shift your own money consciousness, money stories, and your thoughts around what just might be possible for you. So we invite you to come along. And if you would like to help us with our own 10K in 10 Days Challenge, we would love if you would shop amongst our services and our products. We have memberships for enjoying family photo sessions and family art. Every once in a while, we have a few mini session uh, events that are available to the public. And we have a beautiful guided self-love meditation and a gorgeous, warming, comfy, chamomile and cinnamon tea that you can pair with your self uh, love meditation. So enjoy having a look around, enjoy shopping and treating yourself, and we hope you enjoy this episode. Hi everyone, welcome to the Women Creating Wealth 10K and 10 Day Challenge Day 5. It has been such a fun challenge and we've enjoyed the feedback we've received about the content and how it has been impacting other people positively and um, opening them up to more possibilities for themselves and just that it's unlike any other challenge they've ever gone through before. So one thing I wanted to talk about today is the how because I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> are thinking, well, that's great. 10K in 10 days sounds fantastic, but how do I actually do that? And I purposely did not create a how because I feel like it's so personalized, it's so individualized and that's really just between you and the universe. That's how I look at our, or you and God or whatever you feel connected to. Um, and yeah, I don't think that there's many people that can really tell you how. People can explain a process. They can explain how to sell something, but that doesn't necessarily mean you will have great success at it. Or it could mean that you could have great success with practice, um, but it's still not the only how. And I think that's the most important part is that you can learn lots of different processes. You can learn a lot about a lot of different things that you can sell. You can learn different ways to attract things to you um, that, that have nothing to do with actually selling. The other day I was meditating and I was thinking of fun money mantras for meditating on and a fun one that I read recently was the checks in the mail so I thought oh yeah that one's fun I'll just do that one and I kid you not <laughs> I just meditated on it and let it go and then later that evening my husband brought in the one piece of post that we received it was in a generic envelope and I opened it up it was addressed to me opened it up and it said um please find the check enclosed for blah 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 and it was a literal check in the mail. Same day, like meditated in the morning, received it in the afternoon. And so like there are lots of things like that that you can do, but I'm not here to tell you the direct how. And I think that's a really good thing. Um, I think whenever we put our faith in someone else to show us the way, we can sometimes loosen the connection with ourselves to be able to know the how for ourselves and to be able to know that sometimes the how is just up for to the universe and that we can leave it up to that. So that's one thing. But what I will do is tell you some of my favorite tips for welcoming things into your life. And for anyone who is more on the science side and less on the woo side, this might sound a little woo to you, but I can tell you that it works directly with the laws of the universe just like the law of gravity. So one of them is um, about creating a vacuum. So before you can receive something new, you create space for it. And you can do that through decluttering. And I used to really skip this as part of the manifesting process. I would kind of roll my eyes at it and I would think, yeah, okay, decluttering is really gonna do a lot for me. But actually it does. And as soon as I started implementing it, I saw it uh, make a tremendous difference in my life. So the five spaces that I love to declutter are my wallet, my workspace, my kitchen, my closets, and also my car. So wallet, workspace, kitchen, closets, car. Those are kind of my go-to five for bringing new things into my life. And I have to say, it feels so good to be able to release things and to know that better is coming. So a lot of times we hold on to things because we feel like it's the only thing that we will have, or it's the only thing that we do have. And as soon as you become comfortable with giving it away, 
and knowing that something better is coming for you, the faster you can go through that process over and over again. The faster you can let go of things that are no longer meant for you and the faster you can let things in. So those are the physical areas that I like to declutter and that you will probably see great success with. But you can also declutter thoughts, beliefs, people. Um, there's so much that you can declutter from your life. So there's really no end to it. And it's one of my go-to things that I really enjoy. And that was kind of my tip that I wanted to pass on today is not giving you the direct how for how you would create 10K in 10 days or a grand in 10 days or 500 euros or dollars in 10 days. But that is one of my favorite tips for creating space for what you want to come into your life. And I hope that you're having fun with this. Um, I know fun was our topic for yesterday. And it's so true that when you can make money, you can take the charge out of money and make it less weighty to you, um, less heavy, then it really just becomes a game and it becomes so much more fun. And you build in this muscle of strength along the way and resili resilience and faith because you're no longer as emotionally attached to money. It takes on a different meaning for you. And whenever it's fun, um, it can't be two things at the same time. So it can't be like heavy and fun. Your brain can only process it as one or the other. So when you change and you make it fun, all of a sudden your brain goes, oh, okay, money's fun because that's what it can hold space for um, is kind of one belief at a time. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to share that with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you decide to declutter and if you see a difference. Um, Steve Harvey tells this story. I love Steve Harvey, by the way. He's amazing. <laughs> and he tells the story about how he had this car on blocks. And I think he might have been living at home with his mom at that, that stage. So I'm pretty sure it was at her house. And it was on blocks in front of the garage. And he kept not being able to come up with the money for the new car that he really wanted. He wanted a car that worked, that worked well. And he kept not being able to come up with the money. And his mom was like, you have to get rid of that car. Like you have to make space for the things that you say you want. And sure enough, he got rid of that car and immediately a way was made for him to have the new car. So it works. You heard it from me. You heard it from Steve Harvey. And you would probably hear it from a lot of other people that decluttering, whether it's, again, physical spaces or thoughts, beliefs, people in your life, it works. So enjoy and I'll see you on future days of the challenge. And if you'd like to support us in our own 10K in 10 days goal, um, then we would love if you would shop our services. You can shop on our website at wellfedphotography.com. And if you are joining this challenge internationally, know that there are other things that you can avail of. Um, you can enjoy things like our self-love meditation. You can enjoy things like our chamomile and cinnamon tea, which is our own unique blend that we originally created for a gift for our customers. And then they loved it so much that they kept asking us to refill it. So eventually we just put it on the website and thought we'll make it available. So anyone who wants it can order it or reorder it. And um, yeah, it's just a, a nice, unique blend that actually um, my husband's company created for us. So really enjoyable. And they're filterandbrew.com if you want to check them out, um, his company. But yeah, like our whole purpose is to start this wave of women um, creating wealth and understanding what's possible for them because as soon as you see that you can attract or make or call in 500 in five days or 10k in 10 days or a thousand in 10 days whatever your marker is for you at the moment whatever your goal is like as soon as you see that as possible as soon as you see evidence of it in your life you know you can replicate that you know you can do that over and over and over again and then change the goal to an, the next level. So it's all about showing yourself what's possible, but like seeing it, believing it, believing it, and then seeing it, and then replicating and knowing that you can do that over and over again for the rest of your life, which I think is one of the most important lessons around money that we could ever have. So a lot of us probably were taught how to save money when we were growing up, or maybe even to budget money, but a lot of people were not taught to see the evidence of all of the different ways that they can create it or call it into their lives and the fact that they can replicate that same process over and over again for different amounts of money. So I hope you've enjoyed and we'll see you soon.